Well, hello and a warm welcome to the Sound of Silence with me, of course, your host, Drum People. And you know when you see me, it's entertainment galore all the way. If you are new to this show, please hit that link up there and it will take you to our previous show so that you can catch up on whatever we are doing here. Uh, today is going to be amazing. We are hanging out with one of the finest African musicians coming all the way from Venda in the Limpopo province, to be specific. Uh, this show is made possible by Drum People Music and Music Production and a film company company based in Pretoria East Ferry Glade and also Oist Havens Music. If you need musical equipment, these are the guys that I will recommend. Uh, you can check them out on Facebook or on their website. You can also come in store. They have quite uh, lovely stuff out here that will guide you and help you choose whatever you need for whatever setup that you're looking for. And of course, Ubuntu Stillwater. Uh, these guys are also making this show a possibility for us to be uh, running it and continuing uh, with every day uh, of our show. One more time, a warm welcome to you, uh, to the Sound of Silence with me, your host, Drum People. Stay tuned. The Sound of Silence with Drum People. Alright guys, welcome back to the Sound of Silence with me, of course, Drum People. And like I said to you, today I'm hanging out with an amazing musician. Look, I don't go ahead and say people are amazing if they are not. So trust me, it's going to be an amazing time right here on the show. And I can't wait. I just cannot wait. This lady has a magical voice. I have heard people sing. Trust me when I say she has a magical voice. You're going to find out for yourself right now in no time. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Tire. Thank you very much. You're welcome to the Sound <laughs> of Silence. Thank you very much. I listened to your music like mm -hmm. I had a few songs that your manager sent to me yes. and it was beautiful. Uh, you know, when yes. I listen to it, I'm like, goodness me. <laughs> Where is she from? Where do you come from? Oh, I come from Venda. Venda, right yes, here, like four or five right, hours drive. Yes. Goodness me. And the name, from. the name, what, what, what does it mean? The, uh, the name, name that I use right now musically is Tire, yes. but fully my vernacular name is Tire Rezo. Oh, and it okay. means protection. Protection. Yes. Wow. So without letting you guys say Tire Rezo all the time. Yes, because, yes. because I won't get it right. I know. I know, I know. I won't. But if you say Tire, it's like, okay. You yes, get it. Yes, yeah, so yes. that's that's the name I'm using now. Wow, 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 wow. And what does Tirereto mean? Tirereto means protection. Protection. Yes. Protection. Who protects you? Protection from God. From God. Yes, not, not the protection coming from God. Are you a Christian? Not, yes, I am, I am a Christian. I believe in God. Okay, and, and then the I one. see you are like from, you are a PK actually. Yes, I am. Wow, wow <laughs> I wow. am, so... So there'll be a lot to talk about because when you become a PK, mm -hmm. you have like the whole church as a family now. Yes. And the bigger your family, the bigger your problems. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. We don't want to get into that, do we? Yeah, we <laughs> but, don't. We don't. But we yes. Don't. But how do you like, um, you're not doing gospel music, mm -hmm. right? How do you um, convince people that even though you are a PK, uh -huh. um, Look, this is you. This is what you feel. This is the message you want to carry. You want to talk about love at this mm -hmm, point. Mm -hmm. And that is what you want to um, carry across in your music. How do you do that? I think for me, my music does it for me. Yeah. If, if you listen to the music, you get what I'm, what I'm going for. So That's then right. I don't have to explain myself as to this is what I'm doing and yeah. I'm not doing that. You get it from the essence, mm. from the feel that the music has. Mm. So I don't, I don't literally explain a lot. Mm -hmm. I just did what I did. I, I transitioned. Uh, I didn't. I didn't go for gospel at first. Yes. So I just went for what I wanted in the beginning, yes. and this is where I am now. Wow. Yes. Well, and then, what inspires your your music? How um, how do you write your lyrics? How do you put them together? Okay. So what happens is we go through things in life, right? That's right. And the things that we go through in life, I managed to 
write them down sometimes and uh, sometimes I would wake up in the morning and I have a melody in my head and I want to put the words to the melody yeah. and I want to see whether they fit together and sometimes I would we I would ask my little sister how does this sound is this sounding good and she says yes no this this is sounding good and then I after that I go on into into producing the whole music itself yeah. I yeah. go on into writing it down and making sure that it has a it, it makes sense not yeah. only to the person who's going to listen but mm -hmm. more specifically to me because okay. I wanted to talk to me first before it can talk to someone yeah. else but do you play any instrument I tried <laughs> which, one? I tried, which one I tried the bass Oh, okay. Yes, I not, tried the... Not very harmonic. I know, yes. I know, but with my voice mm. because I, I I usually sing on the on the lower range yes. of <laughs> as yes. as you've noticed. I, 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 I'll come to that. <laughs> I'll come to that. Yes, I, I actually I was inspired by loving the bass and the groove that the okay. bass brings. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Wow. Wow. <laughs> Would you say that being a female artist mm -hmm. is an advantage? Not really, but in this day and age, now that I'm seeing a lot of women come up and not only uh, do do music as vocal, but also rapping, I'm seeing yes. that we we are we are progressing. Mm. So right now, I can say it is an advantage. It can come. It can become a disadvantage as to how people perceive you. Yeah. You know, because when you're a female, the first thing people want to see is how you look and how you dress. They don't want to see your mind. Yeah. They don't want to see what you have to say first. Yeah. They want to see your appearance. But I could say it's an advantage and a disadvantage at the same time. Mm. But Because a lot of guys are also doing music. Mm -hmm. you know, and I don't know if more women are doing music than men. Uh, yeah. but, but it's, it's I mean, it's, it's, it's a competitive world out yeah, there. Yeah. And for you being a female and trying to push in the industry, mm -hmm. you know, there should be um, some challenges that you see day in day out yes. and feel that okay this one if I was a guy I could have gotten away with this one yes but why is it biting me now you know so that's why I'm asking that do you think it's an advantage being 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 female artist <laughs> And I, I will say that again. It can be a, an advantage yeah. and it cannot be an advantage at the same time. Okay. Like I said, your parents at first, being a woman, mm. they're going to uh, want you know, something else. Yes, yes. The first thing that they think of, it's, no, it's, it's a woman. Yes. She can do, you know, anything, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. no, that is not the case. Mm. You, now you have to have this dignity. That's you have right. to know what you want. You have to know where you're coming from so that you don't stray away from exactly what you want to become. That's right. So it can become a disadvantage if the people that you're working with especially the industry now being male driven yeah. right that makes it a very big disadvantage okay yes okay but i listen to your music yes and look not a lot of people have that tone you have that texture yes why aren't you all over the place in the newspapers <laughs> and traveling internationally and what is stopping you i mean why? I, I wouldn't That's the know. first question I ask myself. Right? That why? This is what we need to hear on mm -hmm. the radio every day. Mm -hmm. I can drive with your music from here to whichever country, <laughs> if it's possible, yeah, without yeah. skipping any track. Wow. You know, wow. because it's, it's not piercing. It's not mm -hmm. the shouting kind of music. It's yes. so soul and it's so touchy. You can feel it, yes. you know. And why? Why aren't you all over the place? I would say it's mostly the strategy, strategy, okay. marketing strategy yes. that become, that is very, you know, as an artist, for me, I'm an artist and what I concentrate on is the production of my music and, right. how I, and how I 
pro how I produce it and how I sing it. Yeah. And then I forget, which is a mistake from most of us artists' side. Yeah. And we forget the marketing side. We forget the commercial, the economic side That's that right. we, can, we can push through this. Mm. And then it becomes a very difficult way to like pierce through the industry mm. because it's very, very, it's a very, like you said, it's very competitive. Yes. Yes. Everybody is there trying to do their own thing. Yes. But um, I think our marketing strategy is, is a, it's a bit lacking, but mm. we're trying to, to, to do as much as we can. Please get there soon. We're trying to do I as want, much I as we can. I want the whole world to hear what I'm hearing. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Like, I'm not just saying it, uh -huh. but... I'm very selective when it comes to music, wow. you know, and yes. as soon as I heard yours, I'm like, no, we need to have hair, oh we need to have hair, oh but I can't wait any longer, I want everybody to hear what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. so please, we'll go ahead and you just have to um, give us your first song, all right. and then after that, we'll come back and talk some more. All right, no problem. All right, the stage is all yours. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back again to the Sound of Silence and I'm hanging out with Tire, 
that was a beautiful performance. Thank you very much. I mean, that was that was a great song you yeah. did for us. Uh -huh. And when when I heard your music, that's one of the songs that really connected with me. All right. You know, where where did it come from? Where did the inspiration come from for that song? Words was the first song that I wrote that uh, that preceded all the other songs. Okay. So before every other song came words was the one wow. and I remember doing it by myself yes I did the bass myself oh. I did the keys myself and the drumming it was very amateur yeah. but it sounded so good yeah. that when I presented it to the, to the producers at that time they said oh my god we should do this yes. this is a nice song write more do this more because it was coming from uh, a very hurtful place Okay. It was coming from a sad place in my life yes. where I knew that this is the only thing I just wanted this person to tell me mm. was I love you more than words. Yeah. And it did not come. Yeah. It came at a position where I was, I was struggling and I felt that I should just tell that to myself instead. Mm. I held on and, you know, I, I persisted and it wasn't supposed to be like that. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, that's all I wanted to that's hear. Right. And that's right. I didn't hear that. Yeah. And I, s I heard that person saying it to the person who came later, mm. you see. So mm. you hear it in the, in the first verse yeah. that I actually explain the story that okay. y you said it to the person who came so late yes. in your life. But I mean, look at it, look at it today. It's, yes. it's, it's, it's become music now. Exactly. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. you know? Thank you. Uh, what is your biggest fear in the, in the industry? In the industry. What scares you the most? Losing myself. Mm. That is the biggest thing. Well, what I do you mean? What do you mean losing yourself? I mean conforming to things that I am not used to. Okay. Conforming to the standards that has been set to to say that women have to wear this or women have to look like this all yeah. the time. Yeah. And I'm not that. Mm. The thing that I'm most scared of is to lose myself and present myself as someone that I'm not. Wow. That is the biggest fear that I have. Wow. And that is what I was thinking about yesterday. Yes. <laughs> when, yes. I, when, I was, when my manager told me that, no, we have to go. So I'm like, no, this, this, I remember that I don't want to lose myself. Mm. And I think it's part of uh, the reason why we are not, um, uh, our, our market is not as, you know, as big as we wanted it to be. Mm. Because I don't conform to the to the standards yes. of yes. you know of the industry yes. Yes. but who are you i mean when you say um, you don't want to lose yourself yes. who are you because to me i think it finds uh, it takes a long time for people to find themselves mm -hmm. some people yes. you know and some people also do find themselves very early age mm -hmm. you know yes. but who are you i mean when you look deep down like what is your standard mm -hmm. um, you know, against the world that mm -hmm. you don't want to lose. Who, who I, I am very conservative. Yeah. I'm very conservative and I want to protect my heart and I, I don't want to be defined by someone else. I want to be defined by myself. Mm. I want to search myself from deep in, inside yes. and say, this is the tire that I want. That's right. So that the people can be able to accept me. Mm. So if they don't, then it doesn't become my problem. That's right. It becomes theirs. That's right. I need to define myself for myself. Mm. So the tire that I am is very, I am a very happy person. I'm very bubbly and yeah. I am actually very quiet and shy. Mm. which some some people might not believe. Yes, I would believe that. You, you, you yes. could, right? I, I am very quiet and I'm very shy and I, I like to be by myself a lot. I like to... I like to be creative, yeah. I like to sing, I like to write, I like to paint, I like to do very creative things. Mm. So you see, that's, yeah. that's the kind of person yeah. I am. And you said, you said that um, your parents are very supportive. Yes. They, they always say like they would buy your first album. Anytime yes. you release an album, yes. they buy it for the first time. Yes. Not a lot of people have that very supporting parent, mm -hmm. you know, mm. uh, and I believe that there are so many people that if they have supporting parents like mm. that, they will go further, way further than wherever they are right yes. now. 
you know, um, what, what do you think made your parents fall in love with your music? Uh, my parents are very, um, they, they, they are those people that if you have a dream, mm. they want you to follow it. Okay. And they will support you in it, whether it's something that they agree with or yeah. not. Yeah. They're going to let you follow it. You know, at first, when you say, Mom, Dad, I'm going to sing something that's not gospel. Mm. It wasn't received as, you know, that's right. as, you know, but at the end of the day, they saw the commitment mm. that I was making to the music that I was doing. They saw me going, saying, I'm going to practice, I'm going to record, I'm going to perform, I'm yeah. going to do this. And my mom started saying, okay, wait a minute. This What's girl is here? doing something with, with her life. Yeah. And yeah. if we don't back her up, we might lose her. Yeah. And yeah. I, saw, I saw them starting to accept. Mm. And I saw them starting to help. Mm. And I saw them starting to, to be there when I needed them. Yeah. And that was just the most beautiful feeling that I've ever felt That's in my right. life. That's there was right. a point where I would cry and I would say, thank you very, very much mm. for at least supporting my dream. Mm. Because they're the kind of parents who support everything. Yeah. My, there was a point where I was, I was supposed to perform at a, at a club. Mm. And my mom said she wants to come with me. I mm. said, no, mom. And that's a pastor. You can't come to the club <laughs> with me. You can't. Yeah. I, don't want to, I don't want you to come yeah. because you are, you are a pastor. But she yeah. said, but my daughter is going to be performing. That's right. I said, I know. I know. But right now, mm. you just have to let me do my thing. And do, they, do they feel like the same way that we feel when we listen to your music? I don't know. That I, I think you should know. ask them because <laughs> I, I want to know. I would. I, I wish they were here. I would just ask them to 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 hear their their side of the story. Mm -hmm. Like, how do they feel when they listen to your music? Yeah, I, I wish know? I knew. I because wish there I knew. could be also familiarity. Mm -hmm. You know, where the parents, your mother thinks, mm -hmm. oh, that's my daughter. She's she's doing one of her songs. Yes, you know, yes. and there's that thing where. Wow, that's my daughter. <laughs> listen to the song. Listen to that voice. You know, that it's two different things. Yes. You know, yes. even though it's the same words, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, and and from where I come from, which is West Africa, yes. they, they will just say, oh, he's going to do one of those things. You know, and you come back, nobody even cares. Oh, Up yes. until you start appearing on the screens mm -hmm. and people are like, okay, did you see your daughter? Did you see your son? Uh -huh. Then the veil falls off. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. but thank God that you have beautiful parents I who are supporting. You know, where can people find your music? Uh, they can find it. I am in any digital store. Yeah. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on iTunes, iTunes uh, or to Google Play, Deezer, Amazon, Deezer, Spotify, ev everywhere. Ev as long as it's a digital platform, mm. you can find me there. Wow. And uh, where to from here? Like. What is what is your your next move? My next move because now I, I the first thing that I did was release an EP. Okay. Uh, my next move is an album. Okay. For when is it coming? Don't pressure me. Don't pressure me. I am still marketing this EP. <laughs> no, I can't wait. Like. As long as you can let me listen to it, mm -hmm. I won't share it to anybody. I promise. Promise. But I, let me listen to because I, <laughs> I'm done with the EP. <laughs> I want the next thing. You and know? the next thing, trust me, the next thing is with the EP, we had to cut off some of the songs yeah. because I wanted it to have this meaning. Mm. So with the with the album, it's gonna be the first story. This was like a prelogue, yes. like an introduction yes. to a bigger story. Wow. So there are three stories that I want to make mm. uh, so the album is the first story okay and then there's gonna be other stories to come with yes but right now what i'm working on for me like the creative side i'm working mostly on on the production of the music and how it, it it's supposed to sound mm. and and what i wanted to um what I wanted to sound like and what I wanted to mean. Mm. Yes, mm. that's what I'm. What, that's what I'm gonna be working wow. on. Wow. So what what are you performing for us next? So next, I'm going to perform the song and it's in vernacular. Yeah. It's going. To, it's called Why I Saw, meaning Why are you like this? 
Wow. Yes. Wow. This wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. No, I can't wait. I can't wait any longer. All right. Um, thank you so much for coming to hang out yes, with, with myself you. and and everybody. Thank you for and, having uh, me. And the stage is all yours. Thank you. Thank all you right. very much. Okay, thank I you. hope Take you enjoy away. this. I did. I did. <laughs> Right, guys that's it for the day thank you so much for hanging out with me drum people on the sound of silence with my guest t ray uh coming all the way from limpopo i'm sure you enjoyed her music it's lovely um until then i will see you next week on the sound of silence keep well be safe and stay refreshed bye-bye <laughs>